Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Fort Mill TKK. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, standing in front of R. Hanauer Ties on Main Street, Fort Mill. And I'm about to find out, and you are too, what's in a bow tie. Hello there. Hi, Patty. Good to see you. Welcome. Let's talk ties. Come in. All right. When did, when did the first bow tie, when was it invented? Well, that was in the 1700s and that was in France. Uh, we've been doing it since 1985. We design and manufacture bow ties right here in Fort Mill. Uh, we sell to high-end specialty stores all around the United States and Canada. We have a web presence that we sell bow ties all over the world. Wow. Uh, and we make the finest bow ties in America and the finest, the best tying bow ties in America. What is the secret of a great knot? In a bow tie, the way the tie is made, we cut all of our bow ties on the bias. Okay. As opposed to on the straight, so you get this stretch. Yes. Which is what makes it tie mm -hmm. better. Most bow tie manufacturers will cut their ties on the straight mm -hmm. because you get a better yield that way. But they're very difficult to tie. Now I gotta say, you look very nice. So you've got this great jacket, you've got your bow tie. Do you think sometimes that people believe bow ties are more for a tuxedo, a little more formal? Uh, not these this days. This is a good look. I mean, you're rocking it. You could wear this where? You could wear it anywhere. You could wear it out to dinner or you know, during the day, you can dress it down, be casual, or you can dress it up with a suit. I realize watching football, when I see how nice the uh, broadcasters are dressed, they yes. all have they their pocket square. Yes. So, in my, I, you know, everybody has an itch to do something for themselves, so... Which is was, America, right? That's right. So there was no, there were no white cotton pocket squares in the market. Everybody was using, you just use your handkerchief, which is too big and it made a big wad in your pocket. So I started making white cotton pocket squares. Yeah. See, these are for show and these are for blow. <laughs> I gotta ask, did you come up with that? I did not, that was his idea. Okay. The one thing that you don't want to do, you don't want to match your tie and your pocket square. And what's it like to have your son working with you? It's great. Aww. It is really great. Awesome. We, yeah. We, we get along very well. We see things the same way. Randall, tell me about your, your job in the company. Well, we pretty much split the duties. We um, design and color everything ourselves and we uh, travel to trade shows twice a year. We go to New York, Chicago, uh, there's one in Charlotte, um, Philadelphia, and... Um, so you spend we, a lot of time traveling. We do a lot of traveling and um, we just, we split the duties. So I'm curious, you've, you've got your showroom, but obviously you have a big presence on the, on the World Wide Web and also with different um, distribution places throughout the United States. How many people actually come in and shop your showroom? Um, more and more, it seems, there are more people walking up and down Main Street. They love this little town, yeah. this little village, and we get more and more people. People come down from Charlotte just to buy bow ties. In addition to bow ties, you've got just... Uh, we have foreign hand ties also that okay. we do not make here. We send our fabric to a workshop in Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, so they're made in the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they have a hand sew shop there, and that's where they make our foreign hand ties. We do formal braces. Ah. Uh, we tube these here, and we send this up to a shop in Brooklyn, and they put the leather and the hardware on. And Very nice. Send them back. One of our formal vests. Wow, okay. We make that's those gorgeous. Here. And we make ascots here also. Ah, and now you've got a workshop in the back? Yes. Okay. And about how many bow ties do you make in a day? Well, I cut them. You cut them? They make them. I gotcha. Uh-huh, and generally uh, 200 and about average of 200 a day. That's awesome. These are all waiting in line to go out on the floor. Okay. And when they get done sewing what they're sewing, they'll come over and check some more out. 
So we go from measuring, cutting the fabric and to... It comes over, the girls go over and pick. Once they yeah. get it sewed like that, then we have these high-tech equipment that we use here. <laughs> that is fancy stuff. Wow. It's hard, but she's just finishing up. Make a little envelope. Make a little envelope. <laughs> a little envelope. So no raw ah, kind of like a chewing gum wrapper. When she brings back the, the product, when it's complete, she brings it back, and then I'll take the order, and I'll go through and make sure I have everything I need, and then I'll, um, I have to check, check the bows. I have several things I have to check when mm -hmm. I do it. You know, I have to check the length, I have to check to make sure it's the right fabric, there's no flaws, um, it's going the right direction, you know, and it's a whole lot of things you have to check. It's really fun. Oh my! We had these. Oh, is this? These are the spring made yes! girls. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Close comes in here, and she'd bring this cotton fabric in and ask us to make bow ties for the men in her family. These so are pocket these squares. These are all the pocket squares. I think I might be able to cut a pocket square. These are the ones that we make here in this shop. And this is gorgeous. This is another way to. These are silk paisleys, and this is. It's all like a magic trick. Beautiful in a in a sport coat or blazer. Oh. Ah. And you get all that color and movement. Oh, yeah, and look how it brings, like the tie, the bow tie brings out the yellow, just the little yeah. bit of the yellow in your pocket square. Okay. okay. And so that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Fort Mill, Tiga K. To see more beautiful homes in our area, you can always go to homesfortmill.com. But if you want that special tie, made in America, Main Street, Fort Mill, where do you go to get that? Our Hanauer right here. And you know what they say? Making a man beautiful one at a time. Making a man beautiful one at a time. Until next time, this is Fatty Mercer. Bye-bye.